We're gonna go over the Greenleaf 555 conduit bender. Um, this is a, an electric over hydraulic conduit bender. The, the first thing we need to know are the parts and pieces of the conduit bender. So this piece right here, this is the roller. So the roller are different sizes, half, three quarter, one inch, an inch and a quarter back here. This part right here is called the shoe. Um, the shoe is broken into the same size as you can see, half, three quarter, one inch, an inch and a quarter. All right, this part out here is called the hook. So this is where we wanna put the end of our conduit. So when we're bending the conduit, we wanna slide the conduit back to the edge of the hook, just like that. The coupling sits against the hook. All right, this part up here is the scale, um, our degree scale. On top of the, the bender, we have all sorts of charts. Uh, depending on the type of conduit we're bending, we have a rigid, an EMT, and an IMC chart. Um, we have our remote control. Our control runs the, the shoe forwards and backwards. On this side, we got the on-off switch. A lot of people forget about the on-off switch and they wonder why it doesn't run. All right. So for this little demonstration here, we're gonna bend to 90 degree. This, this guy right here, it has the degrees right on the front of the control, which is super nice. All right, so what we're supposed to do, um, to put a piece of conduit in, we need to unload it. I'll take it out. So we gotta be careful of this, this flat piece right here. So we tip the conduit and we're able to get it out. We tip it up and we slide it in. So we're gonna pull it back all the way to the, to the hook and we're gonna push the button and run it forward. All right. So we're gonna look at our chart here. We wanna bend to 90. So we're gonna find three quarter inch IMC. Um, and it says we need to bend it to 97 degrees. There'll be some spring back in this. So we're gonna bend it to 97. So we're looking at the green arrow here. We're gonna bend it all the way up. Go one, go one, go one. 95 uh the controller says 98 somewhere in there we'll put our level on it mm, not quite level we're gonna unload it and see where we're at able to get it out it's always nice to return the bender to the to the loading position so the next person doesn't have to worry about it all right so we want to make sure we got a true 90 there's a couple ways we can do that we settle on the floor um, so we're level right there and then we can check the coupling we're pretty level right there so we got a true 90 that's a good 90 um, that's how you use the, the Greenlee 555 to bend a, a 90 degree stub.